Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 3rd of May 1830, the world's first timetabled steam powered passenger service began operating on the Canterbury and Whitstable Railway. Due to Whitstable being a seaside town, the line went on to become affectionately known as the Crab and Winkle Line and continued to operate a passenger service for just over a hundred years before becoming goods only. Now it's important to add some clarification about the Crab and Winkle Line's claim to fame. Firstly, it wasn't the world's first passenger railway. That was the Stockton and Darlington Railway in the north of England. But the Stockton and Darlington only used steam locomotives for goods transportation. Horses were used to pull passenger carriages along the tracks. What made the Canterbury and Whitstable Railway unique was the steam locomotive Invicta. Built by George and Robert Stevenson in Newcastle and transported to Whitstable by sea, Invicta was the first steam locomotive to haul passengers on a public railway line. However, even Invicta wasn't used for the entire journey. The locomotive only transported passengers over a short, flat section of the line. Due to steep inclines and the very low power of Invicta, it was rated at just 9 horsepower, stationary steam engines hauled carriages that were attached to long cables for the majority of the six-mile journey. However, the line was significant for the 757-metre-long Tyler Hill Tunnel, which Isambard Kingdom Brunel studied while designing his landmark tunnel through Box Hill for the famous Great Western Railway. <laughs>